The answer has the same number of digits after the decimal point as the number in the problem with the least number of digits after the decimal. So this is a little bit different of a rule. All right, so let me give you an example. What if I have 20? 3.997, and I'm going to subtract 18.1, 5.897. This is from the calculator, all right? But it doesn't really make sense to keep that as my final answer because this guy, I was not able to measure nearly as well as this guy. So I need to figure out what to do here. When I'm adding or subtracting, it really matters more what's on the right-hand side of the decimal point. So here, this has three significant figures after the decimal. This has one significant figure after the decimal. So the answer that I'm going to actually keep is 5.9. I'm going to round this up uh, right here. 5.9 with significant digits because this rounds up and I'm going to only keep one digit after the decimal. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.